Now, now, Cleopatra. Chew your burgers. Don't gulp them. I'll never forget my first night in this lovely house. We thought it was haunted. Well, you can't have everything. Oh, that must be Uncle Fester playing with his new dynamite caps. I should have been over there a long time ago. With a pot of henbane soup, some of my dwarf's hair cobbler, and marital advice. <laughs> Darling, you're so impetuous. Bridge first, bullfrog later. <laughs> Isn't it a little late for Uncle Fester to be playing with his dynamite cat? Oh. oh, I do hope the new neighbors will like the house. Do you think they will? How can they help it? It is nice and dismal. <laughs> do you mind if I smoke? <laughs> Gomez, was it impolite of me to smoke? Thanks, my love. Give me your lips. <laughs> Morticia. Gomez, that's beautiful. And it's such a perfect night for poetry. I just love weddings. They always make me cry. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, poor Melancholia. Doomed to spinsterhood. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Adams speaking. Mama's cooking up a real surprise. I am so hungry I could eat a wolf. <laughs> Gomez, you guessed me. Such a romantic place. Those lovely nights with the hyenas howling. Makes a perfect spot for a honeymoon. You're so right, Mrs. Adams. You really have a good business. Honeymoon! Don't they make a handsome couple? He's a man. She's a woman. Perfect match. <laughs> it's all finished. What do you think, darling? Do you think Uncle Crimp will like his new sweater? I hope so. Looks like a perfect fit. How do you do, Mr. Hillier? Uh, Mrs. Adams, I was My sent here... Hemlock has been very listless lately. Do you know anything about Hemlock? No, oh, Mrs. Adams, I was sent here oh, to... Oh, pity. My poor little Hemlock. Where have I failed you? I know. You haven't been getting enough moonlight. <laughs> did I just hear a peal of thunder? You did, Tish, you did. Oh, that's the most heavenly sound. <laughs> it makes life worth living. Look, darling, I finished it this morning. How do you think Cousin Imar is gonna like his new sweat? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's odd. What's odd, dear? I didn't know Cousin Imar wore turtleneck sweaters. <laughs> Gomez? Darling? Mother knows best. Now, believe me, we'll send the children to school. I'm going to miss the patter of their little feet sneaking up behind me. <laughs> Mez, a watched cauldron never bubbles. <laughs> Grimm's Fairy Tales. What a lovely name, Grimm. <laughs> what if Mr. Hilliard doesn't come? Angel, your father sent Lurch for Mr. Hilliard. And it's very difficult for people to refuse Lurch. He has such a nice way with them. Wait till you see what they've got cooked up for you. The end. And what about that Hansel and Gretel? Little Hansel and Gretel. Little juvenile delinquents pushing sweet old ladies into hot ovens. I don't know. He's such a weird little man. What are you going to call it? Spring song. Perfect. Thank you, darling. Now for the finishing touch.
have such a delicate touch. I just love to hear the sound of children at play. <laughs> oh, my little girl, she's out there in the world all alone. Don't worry, Carita Mia, she'll be all right. She comes of sound stock. But, darling, even an Adams can be led into temptation. Supposing she wanders on a playground, tries to teeter-totter. <laughs> she may even run away and join the brownies. P-O-L-I-C-E. You mean the fuzz? What is the fuzz? The bulls. <laughs> Thought you had him there, didn't you? Well, a much better way. Psychology. Oh, that's no fun. Uh, Professor, this is not a fun matter. That child has got to be taught to play with her own explosives. <laughs> Oh, Gomez, I feel as though I were dancing with Nijinsky. And I with Pavlova. <laughs> Must be the solving of the Wednesday crisis. Oh, that's one situation you handled admirably. Darling, let me up. It's probably my poetry club. Tell them you've resigned. What's that? Our son Pugsley. He's never happier than when he's shooting off his dynamite cap. And when? Well, she's been such a good child lately. I thought I'd buy her a few fresh dynamite caps. Just a few. Of course, you can't spoil them. We should take a trip somewhere. Tombstone or, or Death Valley. Some fun place. Minye, minye, boom! What's the matter, Tish? Something wrong? Oh, that's strange. I felt just as though I'd been stuck with a pin. No idea. It was so late. If you gentlemen will excuse me, it's time to go feed my plants. Mr. Hahn, that wasn't beef. That's breast of alligator. Alligator? <laughs> How about that henbane sauce, especially in the house? Shall we repair to the living room, gentlemen? You have been marvelous hostess. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. I'll say la guerre. <laughs> Tish, when you speak French, you drive me wild. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Gomez, darling, control yourself. I think perhaps we better leave. Very thoughtful. <laughs> we wish to thank you for a most enlightening day. You've brightened our day, too. We we're about to settle down to our everyday routine. <laughs> There's something about the eyes. I just can't seem to get them. That lid droops just a bit too much. The right eye or the left? The middle one. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, children are going to be late for their birthday party. Would you ring for Lurch? <laughs> I'd better go in and finish knitting my tea cozy. Morticia. Don't move. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're mistaken, Mr. Pomeroy. Our birds would never attack living things. I've traced Mrs. Adams back to the early colonial days at Salem, Massachusetts. Interesting place, Salem. They burned witches there, you know. Yes. I'm certainly glad they don't do that today. <laughs> 